does ChatGPT really have the ability to now see? Well, there's been a lot of recent developments with ChatGPT4 over the past couple days, but make sure you stick around to the end of the video so I can give you a real world example. First things first. OpenAI, the lab that created Dolly and ChatGPT. GPT-4 is a breakthrough in problem-solving capabilities. For example, you can ask it how you would clean the inside of a tank filled with piranhas, and it'll give you something useful. It can also read, analyze, or generate up to 25,000 words of text. It can write code in all major programming languages, and it understands images as input and can reason with them in sophisticated ways. Most importantly, after we created GPT-4, we spent months making it safer and more aligned with how you want to use it. The methods we've developed to continuously improve GPT-4 will help us as we work towards AI systems that will empower us all. And I want to show you another video. You didn't catch the live stream by OpenAI yesterday. I went in and I grabbed what I thought was the most impressive portion of that live stream. Take a look. So I have here a nice hand-drawn mock-up of a joke website. Uh, definitely worthy of being put up on my refrigerator. So I'm just going to take out my phone, literally take a photo. All right, going to send it to our Discord. And here we go. Technology is now solved. And now we wait. So the thing that's amazing in my mind is that what's going on here is we're talking to a neural network. And this neural network was trained to predict what comes next. Right, played this, uh, this game of, sort of being shown a partial document and then predicted what comes next across an unimaginably large amount of content. And so we can actually take now this output. So literally we just said to output the HTML from that picture. And here we go. Actual working JavaScript filled in the jokes of our mock-up. And so there you go, going from hand-drawn beautiful art, if I do say so myself, to working website. There you have it, folks. He literally just did a napkin math drawing of a website and was able to turn it into a real working functioning website, although be it, it, it does look rudimentary, but I imagine you could work with GPT-4 to clean up some of the CSS. But wow, that is really, really cool. I cannot wait to get access to the API. If you already have access, please drop in the comments how you're using that tool and what you're gonna be building around it. Until next time, I hope you have a successful and positive day and thanks for watching.